What's going on YouTube? It's your boy SJC. We are back with another review. Today I have something really, really, really hard to find in town here in Los Angeles. I went all over town for this item. I have another item that uh, I will be doing a review on after this one. So definitely check that one out. So today I went and acquired none other than the PlayStation 5 headset. Now, this is much different than the other one. Much, much different. Different design here is the previous one for the PS4, and here is the PS5. The design is a lot different. It's more condensed. It looks like they scrunched it all up. It's a square now, it's not a cylinder. I feel like it's gonna be a lot more easier to set up on say a television or wherever you're putting your camera to your gaming. On the back it says, personalize your gameplay sharing. The features are uh, 1080p capture, captures everything in 1080p. Now this is a new feature, background removal tool. I, I'm not sure if it works with the green screen or if it just cuts everything out. I haven't had time to try it. I will do a review on that to see how that feature works out. And it has a built-in stand, unlike the one before for the PS4, it had this little stand that you could easily, I don't even know where my stand is. It's been lost for a very long time. This one looks like it's built in. Well, let's open it up to see what, what, what it's all about. I'm, I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for this. Two. Oh. Nice. So here is a first look at the next gen. Wow, camera, wow. So right out of the box, you have your camera. That, that is nice. That is, that is really, really nice. It comes with your little booklet. So let's take this out, let's see. Whoa, that design is so much smoother than the PS4. And it opens up like, wow, it opens up like this. And I assume you would be able to attach it to the back of your television like so. So it'll sit on top of your television. Like so the TV comfortably. Adjust it right there to just sit on top. And then if you want to adjust it a little bit more. It's a really nice feature. This plastic off. Oh wow, it has a little, this is PlayStation there. Interesting enough, on, on the PlayStation, if you zoom in, it has a little X, X O square. Wow. Wow. Has the same pattern as the remote. That's that's very interesting. I like the design. I feel like they went the right way with the design because you have that and then you have this right here so you can come in and do those subtle little gestures. I can't wait to hook this up and see for my eyes, like like the performance. Because the camera I have now, the picture's great. The picture's great, but I feel with the PS5 camera, it, it's, going, it's going to look really good. That looks really nice. It is a really, really nice design. 
it looks like it looks like a robot. I it looks like a Wally. It looks like a Wally face. It's quite interesting. And then right under here you have your PlayStation button. I mean the it doesn't feel it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It feels like I'm actually holding something. Whereas this, this feels like a lot more plasticky. Like I still feel like I'm holding something solid. The design is much, much, much sleeker. And they, you can tell that they put a lot of thought into the design when they went and engineered this. So this camera is set to release on the 12th alongside with the PS5. I happened to acquire it early. I happened to get my hands on it. Now it is set to retail in the United States for $59.99. In the UK, it will be going for $49.99 pounds. And in Australia, it will be $99.95 Australian dollars. So interesting enough, when I go to try it out, when I hook it up to my PlayStation 4, I'm not able to connect the camera. When I try to go into the PlayStation camera settings and adjust the PlayStation camera, I get this error. This PlayStation camera is not connected. So it's not recognizing the PS5 camera. So the big question is, do I think that this camera is worth the $60 to a hundred Australian dollars that you're dishing out for this device? I would honestly have to say that you would have to weigh out what are you using it for? If you're using it for gaming and streaming and that's a feature that you want and you don't mind dishing out the money, I say, sure, might as well spend the money on it. I mean, it adds to the game, it adds to your stream. Thank you for watching this review. My name is Scuff Jim Carrey. If you enjoyed this review, please check out the rest of my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Whee!